Tonight, we begin in Seattle, where a community is calling for change after a 17-year-old was killed trying to break up a fight. We have an epidemic on our hands. We're on the verge of losing an entire generation of young people. This is not a racial issue. This is a human issue. So this shooting happened this afternoon at Garfield High School while students were on lunch. Thanks for being with us at 6.30. I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Joyce Taylor. Tonight, the suspect still wanted. King 5's Cornelius Hawker joining us live at the high school with the very latest tonight. Cornelius. Joyce, Seattle police tell us that the 17-year-old shot and killed here at Garfield High School had broken up a fight between two other students. Police say one of those students is who shot that 17-year-old victim. Now, the shooter ran from the school. Police went after him, but they have not made any arrests. Now, this shooting sent the school into lockdown. Parents rushed here to get their kids. And a mom we talked to says she is fearful and fed up with all the shootings that have taken place here at Garfield High School. It would have been great if they were already here. I feel like with all the shootings that have happened already this year, the school board should have a couple of SPD officers at least here um, on a detail or something to help deter crime. Um, these kids should be able to come to school and know that they're safe. Cornelius, we talked earlier about the community gathering, the mayor, the police chief, and other leaders addressing the situation at a nearby church. Tell us more of what they had to say. Joyce, all of them hammered home the point, gun violence is the problem, but how to stop it, that's gonna be tough. Here's what the pastor had to say about that. This is not an issue that the police can handle by themselves. I would like to suggest to you that when someone's heart is not right, there's nothing that the police can do for that. But we, the church and other organizations who are in the business of transforming people's lives, we must collaborate, come together and believe in the good in these people. And again, Seattle police just confirmed to us within the last 10 minutes that the 17 year old shot here did not survive. Greg. Good evening, thank you. This is at least the third shooting incident near Garfield High School this year. On March 13th, a 17 year old student was shot at a bus stop. Nobody's been arrested in connection with that drive by shooting on April 23rd. Witnesses say somebody fired at least a dozen rounds just a few blocks from the school. Police say it appeared to be two parties shooting from their cars.